So this is an AMD 6970 graphics card. It uh, is one of the first revisions. And what I'm doing here is I'm attempting to remove these tiny memory heat sinks from it. Um, problem is, this stuff, permanent thermal adhesive, it's very good. Uh, however, now that I'm considering water cooling my graphics card, I was uh, researching universal water blocks because since this is a 6970, there stands a chance that within my water blocks lifespan, I'll want to upgrade my graphics card, so I won't want to have to buy a new water block. And after looking at several water blocks, most of them are low profile and would end up getting in the way of the RAM sinks up top here. So I have to ask, how permanent is permanent when we're talking about this thermal adhesive? And I googled uh, several different forums, several different suggestions came up. Some involved putting the card in the freezer. Uh, for 10 minutes to an hour. Some even said they did it overnight. And I wasn't willing to do that. I thought, well, a can of compressed air would be cold as well. Too, as well. Um, however, after trying compressed air, uh, it did not prove successful without... Um, at least I didn't want to apply a lot of force. The whole idea is I want to be able to do this without applying a lot of force. I also tried this thermal material remover. This stuff is designed to only remove thermal grease, but I figured, what the hell. I'll give it a try. That did not work either. So now instead, I, d I decided I would try, instead of going cold, I would go heat. So I have a heat gun. Uh, it's a standard arts and crafts heat gun. Nothing fancy. I think I bought it for 20 bucks at a uh, Menards. So what I'm doing is I've successfully removed these three. Now obviously I'm trying to be delicate because, well, I don't want to take the RAM off as well. I have no idea how well they're attached. I'm going to err on the side of caution that they're not uh, very securely attached to the board. So I'm going to heat up this RAM sink, and then I'm going to take this X-Acto knife, and I'm going to try and very carefully slide it in between the RAM and the RAM sink. I'm going to try and bury it into the thermal adhesive. Now, the thermal adhesive is an epoxy. Okay, It's ceramic. It's a lot like the stuff that you would use to uh, combine tile or uh, seal up a bathtub. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. The idea is, once it gets solid, it doesn't get unsolid. So by heating it, I'm not actually going to make it jelly again. I'm basically just going to weaken the bond. Now what happened with these three was when it ended up popping off, it popped up immediately. And it did not turn jelly. It's just a solid sheet of epoxy. So, I'm going to heat it up. The ram sink is going to end up being very hot to the touch. You're not going to be able to hold it. So that's why I'm going to do this with the X-Acto knife. So, let's give it a shot for this last one. Hopefully I can get it successfully done uh, with the recording. You're going to aim. You're going to heat it up on various sides. With these other three, it took two goes. So I'm not going to heat it for very long. Give it a few seconds. The ram's going to be very hot. Don't touch it. And I'm going to try to weasel my X-Acto knife in between. And you're going to apply very, very little pressure. Very little. When the thermal epoxy is ready to come off, it will not take much effort. When it's ready, it's ready. Err on the side of caution. Take as many times as you need. Notice I'm also doing a slight seesaw motion. Motion parallel with the flat of the blade. But I'm still not applying much pressure. You want the blade only to get into the thermal epoxy. You don't want it to slide across the ram itself. You don't want to scratch it. You don't want to chip it. Okay. I'm going to go again. Another round. And back with the exacto knife. Try and find the same slit you used before. Continue the seesaw motion. Very light pressure. Still not coming. Round three.
with this kind of procedure, you take as long as it takes. If it takes you 10 minutes, whatever. What else are you going to do with that 10 minutes? Nothing. You're going to watch TV. Err on the side of caution. Round three with the exacto knife. Voila. Pops right off. Hot to the touch. And there you go. Queen ram. Ram sink comes right off. Now if I get a universal water block, I can have one that goes flush with the ram. Maybe I'll find some lower profile ram sinks. Maybe I won't put a ram sink on them at all. Either way, hopefully this is informative to those who use or are planning to use this Arctic Silver Thermal Adhesive. Some suggestions I've seen on other PC forums is that instead of, see what you do, is you mix the one-to-one -one ratio of parts A and B, okay? Well, what I've heard other people do is mix a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio of parts A and B and some standard Arctic Silver 5. Arctic Silver 5 is just a thermal grease. It's not an adhesive. So if you mix it in, you still get thermal, con you still get thermal conductivity, but the adhesive portion is weakened, probably making this whole procedure much less painful. So that's what I'm probably going to do if I ever do this uh, method, putting RAM sinks on a graphics card again. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out.